Hi guys, here for another video and this video is all about this. Chrome Beta just came out on the market so I'm just going to basically do a very quick test on it. haven't done anything with it yet, just downloaded it from the market so uh, your guess is as good as mine as to what the experience is going to be like but let's try it. Okay, looks like a black screen. I guess we'll do a new tab, see what happens there. Opens up on to a what looks to be a familiar site. Let's try a website. Try the BBC website. It's fairly nippy. Generally, average speeds that I've been getting on websites. Ooh, what was that? There seemed to be some strange zoom in thing that happened there, but it's uh, interesting. Okay. So I went to a pretty heavy website there. Uh, did a click, I think by accident there. Let's try and go back. So I'm using the back buttons on the mouse, front and back of there seem to work, which is okay. However, uh, mouse wheel scrolling doesn't work. It does work on other browsers, so that's not quite fixed yet. Um, I say though that actually going onto websites it does seem pretty quick. That's quite quick for loading up a web page. I'll give it some marks on that one. I'll just try another link. So I would say that with Wi-Fi connected it's quite fast. Quite fast as the browser loads up fairly quickly and it seems to be rendering the text and the picture is absolutely fine. Let's try and attempt some flash. Ah, I cannot play media, you don't have a correct version of Flash player. Well I definitely do have the correct version of Flash because it's working in other browsers so it looks as though that's not been implemented just yet. Um, I guess it is a beta so can't ask for everything but I would have to say I'm fairly impressed with the speed of it. My right mouse button is working as a back button it looks like there. But I'm trying to use a mouse button and I keep forgetting that I can't so just distracting me a little bit there. But in terms of its speed, it's actually a really fast browser. I'm quite impressed with the speed of it, so that's promising. Let's try a, a pretty intense website. Let's try Facebook. Hmm, looks to have gone to a mobile version there. Um, see if I can sort that out. So it's got the under the hood setting. Developers tool doesn't. Not to be anything there. Content settings. Website settings. Mm. Doesn't look at a look as well as anywhere to set the user agent at the moment. Which obviously needs to be, definitely be fixed for tablet. Um, I'm just going to put in. I'm just going to log into Facebook and see what it's like. Okay, so logged into Facebook now, and again, it's just showing it as a the mobile site, so that's uh, pretty useless at the moment. I'm going to guess, I'll try iPlayer as well, but I guess that's not going to work either. Uh, another thing is, you, you won't have seen this because I hid it from the video, is it displayed my password when I was typing it in. I didn't look as though I could hide it. Maybe you can do that in the settings, but it's a bit strange to have it as a default. Uh, I'll bookmark Facebook there and see what happens. So, um, let's see if I open up in the tabs now. Um, so, that's going to be nice. It looks as though it's going to have like a speed dial thing, which I love when you open up a new tab. Um, yeah, there it is. 
Let's just do the BBC one as well. So open it up and there you are two home pages and it really is nippy, very fast. I like that. Let's just check iPlayer. So yeah, it does not support your phone, even though this isn't a phone. So to be honest, because the flash isn't supported and the uh, desktop mode is not available, it's pretty useless on a tablet at the moment, especially on a Prime, when you've got browsers like ICS Plus and Boat Browser. Let's just try the search thing. Uh, let's see, what shall we have? London. So that seems to pick it up okay. Uh, let's try something a bit more complex. Who is the Prime Minister of Great Britain? Yep, seem to pick it up okay. I'll let Google search for that. And it gets the answer right. Um, let's see, any more? You can do new tab. Other devices, not sure what that is. Hmm, I don't really understand what that is. Maybe someone will be able to explain that one to me. Uh, finding page, that's quite useful. I wonder if Control F works on that. Now, something that I've found so far with browsers is that Control F doesn't work, which is really frustrating. But it's good that it's available there nice and quickly incognito tab it's the same as a browser um, stock browser and I can't see anything else there let's try something which is a bit more intense let's see how it loads up that I'm assuming it's going to load up this site oh, it's going straight into a web, web version of it I know Engadget is quite an intensive site to load. Taking its time there. And my cat's oh, right. mm. falling over a bit here. You can see the scroll bar, but I can't do it with a mouse, right? Let's have a look. It's not going too fast. Mm, that's interesting. It's not going too fast. I think now the page is loaded up, it's fine, but it took a while to load up the page. But everything seems to be displaying our career. And it seems to be scrolling. Okay, so. I'd say not too bad. It dealt with the site, it just took a bit of a while to load, but maybe it's because Engadget takes ages to load. So, I guess that's a very quick and brief introduction to Chrome Beta. As a summary, I would say that it is a very speedy browser. looks very impressive in terms of its general performance, but obviously Flash isn't working on it, so we can't really test it with any rigorous websites or attempting to put a bit of flash on it and uh, the tabs are nice and the speed dialing will be nice but it's a work in progress hope you like this video and I'll see you in the future